What is going on, Sports Wars? It's your observant lineman, Uche Winery. And today, we have a serious situation to follow up on. If you recall, back in November, we talked about a situation that was going on in Jacksonville with former Jacksonville linebacker, Telvin Smith. Uh, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office had raided his home, and there was some kind of investigation going on. We weren't quite sure exactly where it was headed, but uh, there was some alarm there, and uh, the story kind of kind of quieted down at that point. Uh, but as of yesterday, in the last 24 hours, we have found out that Telvin Smith has been arrested for allegedly having sex with an underage minor multiple times. Now, uh, again, he is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, but right now, we're starting to see more details emerge about that entire situation. Let's go into this article and let's look at some of the new information that's come out in regards to what's going on with Telvin Smith's court case, uh, what the details involving the minor include, and uh, we'll kind of just try and get a, a, an understanding of what's happening up to this point and where we can expect it to go uh, from here. Now, this article is from CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax. Court documents show that former Jaguars Telvin Smith, 28, had sex with a teen on multiple occasions and offered the teen money. Smith was arrested Wednesday for unlawful sexual activity with certain minors and was released after 10 p.m. on a $50,000 bond, according to the JSO. Uh, the affidavit states that back in 2019 on November 12th, a victim told police she met Smith at her place of employment on August 27th, where they took several pictures together. During this meeting, the victim told Smith her age, which is redacted from the court documents. Now, obviously, in a situation like this, if this is true and this and this teenager told Telvin what her age was and he was fully aware of how old she was, uh, then that puts him in jeopardy of violating the law if he gets involved with this teen in any way, shape, or form in a sexual manner. Now, did he know that? We don't know. I would assume that he probably uh, had some questions about that if this is true. Uh, but again, you know, uh, this is right now information that the JSO has gathered, and it is only telling one side of the story. We have to wait for that other shoe to drop. We have to wait for more information to come out in regards to Telvin's side of the story. Uh, but, you know, that is a crucial first part of this case, I would think, him knowing that there may be a situation with this uh, young girl as far as her age goes. Uh, but let's continue on. After the meeting, documents said the victim and Smith communicated on social media and on the phone. The victim agreed to meet Smith in person on the night of August 31st in a parking lot. Smith asked the victim to get in his black Cadillac Escalade and drove her to his home, according to the documents. At his home, the victim told police she and Smith engaged in sex. Uh, Smith then drove the victim back to her vehicle, which was left in a parking lot, and offered her $200, according to the affidavit. The victim told investigators that she declined the money. Then Smith pressured her to take the money. She agreed to take a $100 bill. According to documents, Smith told the victim not to tell anyone about the incident because she could go to jail. Smith told her that if anyone asked questions about them speaking, that she should say that Smith was serving as a mentor to her. Now, in what regard uh, he, was, he, he actually meant that statement is obviously something that we cannot really know until we hear his side of the story. Uh, but... Uh, she does come come out and say that he offered her money and because of pressure from him, he, uh, she took a hundred of the $200 uh, that Telvin allegedly uh, offered her after their encounter. According to court documents, the parking uh, from the parking lot, the victim drove her vehicle home and called her friend on the way to tell them about the incident. When the victim returned home, she disclosed the incident to a family member and asked the family member about obtaining birth control. The victim told investigators that the incident happened in the late evening hours of August 31st and the early morning hours of September 1st. The victim reported that Smith contacted her several days after they had sex. According to the warrant, during the month of September, Smith contacted the victim and asked her to meet at a mall. The victim arrived at the mall and got in Smith's vehicle. The affidavit said Smith drove to a nearby parking lot where they engaged in sex uh, in the vehicle. On November 27th, the JSO executed a search warrant on Smith's home and towed his vehicle, which Action News told you about back in November. In December, the documents said investigators performed a search on Smith's vehicle, 
during which, uh, during the search, a swab was collected from the third row of the SUV, which contained DNA from the victim. Investigators spoke to the victim's family on February 20th about the investigation. A family member advised that on September 1st, the, vi first, the victim told her that she had had sex with Smith and told police that they took her to get emergency contraception that same evening. The family, v uh, the family member told investigators that she gave her cash to purchase the emergency contraception. Uh, according to court documents, on April 13th, the victim provided investigators voice memos that Smith sent her via text message. The affidavit states that Smith can be heard calling the victim baby, asking her to spend the night and on two separate recordings, Smith could be heard making kissing noises. So at the end of the day, right now we have a situation that can be more categorized as he said, she said. Now, obviously when it comes to a situation that's as serious as, uh, you know, sexual misconduct with minors, uh, this is something that is going to have to be settled in the courtroom uh, with details and evidence that send us in one direction or another. I personally hope uh, that there is a little bit more to this story that can at least add a little bit more, uh, I guess, give us a little bit more of a balanced understanding of what happened. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like if this was a situation of Telvin taking advantage of this young girl and uh, pushing her into a situation that she did not want to be involved in, uh, then that also needs to be handled uh, in the right way by the court system. And he should be held responsible and held accountable for whatever actions he took. Uh, now, from the details we have in this article, from the little bit of details that we have overall, uh, I can't honestly say uh, that this young woman was not uh, you know, consensual in this because it seems as if she was uh, kind of down for the get down. Now, that doesn't excuse the fact that she's a minor and it does not uh, give Telvin Smith any right to uh, pursue a relationship with somebody that he knows uh, could put him in legal jeopardy. Uh, but again, we are humans and we make mistakes. Now, would I classify him based on the information I know as a pedophile or something like that? No, I wouldn't do that because there is a, a, knowing, there is a, a known a uh, bit of of, uh, of 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 agreement on both sides as to be involved in this. And at 17, while it's definitely not a situation where the young girl uh, is an adult uh, and by law can't be allowed to be to necessarily give consent, uh, there do, there did seem to be a willingness to be involved in this in one one shape or another. Uh, we don't know again to this point because of the 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 early nature of this and not really having all the details we can't really tell what's really happening uh but soon enough i'm sure more details will come out about this case as it moves towards court uh if there's a trial we'll we'll know more info at that point as well uh but that's where we can pretty much uh you know look forward and see uh where there could be another opportunity to learn more about this case. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe to Sports Wars. I'm your observant lineman, Uche Winery. I appreciate you for checking out this video, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.